Welcome to ABC's simple guide to measuring and installing our superb cafe blinds. Here are the fast and easy steps you'll need to take. First, here are the tools you'll need for the installation of your ABC blinds. To begin with, you need to take accurate inside measurements as shown here. Fill out all the measurements on the appropriate form for the blind you want. The top beam needs to be level. This is very important. The side posts can be a different length if the site is sloping. It's important to allow for the slope on the paving or decking to enable any water to run off easily. If you are unsure of precisely what you need to do, simply send a photograph to us and we'll let you know exactly what the best options are for you. You can post us the photograph or scan it into your computer and email it to us at sales at abcblinds.com.au All blind size reductions will be calculated by the factory based on your measurements, so it's important that they're accurate. How to install an ABC retractable crank operated awning. This is the easiest ABC blind to install. Step 1. Unpack the box. Please note that screws are not included. You will need to obtain screws to complete the installation. Step 2. Working from inside of the patio, secure the side tracks to the patio or enclosure as shown here. Then secure the side track by screwing it to the post or wall. Again, it's important to make sure one screw is positioned at the base of the track and another at the top. Screws should be positioned approximately every 300 millimeters. The recommended screws to use are, for timber, use an 8 gauge self-drilling into timber screw. These steel screws are zinc coated. If you're drilling into steel, you'll need self-drilling zinc fillet drive 8 to 18 gauge screws. Step 3. Insert the pivot pin with the plastic grommet into the end of the tube. You need to locate the square pin into the control end first. Finally, insert the locking pin through the top of the bracket. It's important the pin is inserted from the top, otherwise you risk the pin falling out. Step 4. Locking pins. First, locate where you'd like to drill the holes for each of the two locking pins. Drill the two holes into the side track using an 8mm drill bit. The angle of the hole should be approximately 15 degrees. The hole in the back of the track needs to be around 10mm below the level of the hole you drill into the front of the track. Please note, the bottom hole should be at least 18mm up from the floor. Otherwise, you can choose to locate the holes and pins wherever you choose along the track. Step 5. Attach the crank handle and turn it to lower or raise the blind. It is important to back tension the blind. This can be done by turning the handle an extra half turn to tension the blind once it's tight against the locking pins. Now that was easy, wasn't it? 